Okay, so now we're being told that we have to uh, to start, and I wanted to say that this has a lot more HTML here because a real website, remember that a real website, it's supposed to have the entire website boilerplate, like the HTML doc type, the HTML tag, the head, the head, the closing head, the body, and the closing body, and the HTML. Before, we, we didn't have that in the previous exercise because I, want, I didn't want to overcomplicate it, but now that we are in the third one, it's good to start using the best practices and you cannot just do HTML like if the entire thing was the body like we were doing before. No, you have to put all the other stuff and then you put inside the body what you want to put but the other stuff has to always be there. And the style tag, there's a, a couple of schools. There's one school or trend that is saying that you've got to put it on the head and another one that's saying that you've got to put it on the body. I was more put it on the head person but now I'm more like a put it on the body because uh, it will make your website uh, load faster, a little bit faster. Because whatever you put on the head, you have to wait for it to be loaded for the website to show. Because the head, it's the metadata of the website. So the browser is trained to stop rendering the website until the head is fully loaded. So if you put it in the body, at least you will see the HTML pretty quick. And then when finally the styles are applied, you will see it uh, differently. You, you will see the same content, the same HTML, but in a different way. But just to finish the exercise, they're telling us here that there is a style being applied that is responsible of making the anchor red. Change the style to make your anchor look yellow. Ah, so that's it. Again, yellow. It's pretty much the same, but now with the entire HTML boilerplate. So let's see how it looks. It should look yellow. Here it is. We have our anchor now in yellow.